Good morning. So today I'm going to change things up a little bit and talk about morning routine for creative people. I've been trying to hack productivity and creativity for a while now, and I have found some things that work for me. There are three main habits that I try to do every morning before I really start my day. They are exercise, morning pages, and eating an energizing breakfast. I really started paying attention to my morning routine about 10 years ago after reading Hal Elrod's Miracle Morning. It was a great quick read and he proposed six habits that can truly transform your life. And he wasn't wrong. At that point in time, I had just closed my yarn and quilt shop and I was looking for a new adventure. The six habits that he says can change your life, he has anagrammed into the word savers. And it stands for silence, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribe writing. So for many months, I got up at the crack of dawn, sometimes before dawn. At that time, I had two middle school aged children. And if I was going to get anything done in the morning, I needed to be up before them. The idea is that you take an hour each morning and you go through these six things before starting your day. So silence can be anything from meditation to prayer to mindful breathing. Affirmations are stating or writing positive statements. Things like, I use my time wisely. I am a creative person. It sounds a little woo woo, but let me tell you, it really can make a difference. Visualization is really thinking about and truly visualizing what it is that you want to accomplish, whether that's for the day or as a long-term goal. This is a technique that a lot of star athletes use. They visualize getting that basketball into the hoop or hitting that home run or performing an amazing routine on a balance beam. Exercise seems pretty self-explanatory. Now, personally, when I was doing this, that was the one I would skip, always saying, I'm gonna do that later in the day. I usually didn't. Read. Read for self-improvement and personal growth, like reading The Miracle Morning. And of course, you could just read for fun. It doesn't have to be a book, it could be a magazine, newspaper, but just something to engage your mind. And then the last habit was scribe, which means to write. And this would be something like journaling or doing morning pages. More on that in just a bit. So I spent several months doing that and I really saw a marked improvement in my productivity, my outlook on life, and trying to find a focus on what it is that I wanted to do in this next stage of my life. If we fast forward to 10 years later, I don't miracle morning anymore, but I did retain some of those habits. They've taken on a little bit of a different uh, flair. And I've even picked up exercise. So let's take a little bit more in-depth look at my current morning routine. Exercise for me is three different things. It's not just exercising my body, but it is also exercising my mind and my skill. For me, exercising my body is a very quick but effective five minutes of stretching in the morning. Now to add a little twist to this, I exercise outside at about 6.30 in the morning, regardless of the weather, unless it's raining or snowing if we ever get snow. This stems in part from a video I watched by Andrew Huberman from Huberman Labs. And he proposes that cold shock is vital to waking up your mind so that you are ready to take on the day and really get a lot of things done. 
So with that in mind, that's how I ended up doing my stretches outside. And I don't bundle up in the cold. Now, I've only been doing this routine for a little over a month, so it hasn't been terribly hot because it's been fall and now we're into almost winter. But this morning it was about 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too bad, totally doable. I just go out in uh, leggings and a shirt and uh, do my stretches. And I do find it energizing. So it wakes up my muscles and uh, wakes up my mind. Which of course brings me to exercising my mind. You know, do a little thought process there. And that I accomplish by morning puzzles. Yep, on my phone. So of course for a while I was on the Wordle bandwagon. Now I'm doing connections, which you can find in the New York Times. I also have an app on my phone for a game called Type Shift by Zach Gage. And that is a great uh, word puzzle that has a daily puzzle that I do every day. They start out very easy on Monday and by Sunday, they're a little more complicated. But it's great fun and I haven't missed doing one in over 600 days. And then of course, the third type of exercise I do is for exercising my skill set. As an artist, this is really important. I wanna make sure that I am using those muscles, whether they're mind muscles or hand muscles, to further develop my skill. So, if you've watched some of my previous vlog posts, you see I've been recently practicing drawing acanthus leaves. Now, let's talk about morning pages. So, this is a habit that I did start back 10 years ago as journaling. And at that time, I did learn about morning pages, which are Julia Cameron's take on journaling. So journaling can be a whole wide range of things, anywhere from talking about your day or what you expect to do to bullet journaling or something along those lines. Morning pages is really about getting all the stuff in your head out onto paper. So it can be a bunch of complaining or a grocery list or three paragraphs of the next great American novel. It's just whatever is in your head that needs to get out. Clearing the cobwebs, getting all the nitty gritty nasty bits out of there. That's what Morning Pages is. She recommends doing three pages longhand, writing it out, don't use the computer, no typing, because it's a process and it really helps to get it out. Even better, it doesn't even have to be legible. No one's gonna read it. You don't even have to reread it, just write it. So this was a habit that I have done on and off in the last 10 years. So every time that I pick up Julia Cameron's book, The Artist's Way, I get back into the habit if I've fallen off the habit. And this year, I have done morning pages most mornings, except for the last month or so. It's been a little sporadic, but I'm getting back on that bandwagon because starting in January, I'm going to be doing another Artist Way workshop. And it's done virtually, so if you want more information on that, check the description below or also the first pinned comment. And I will give you a link to get on the mailing list so you can find out more about that workshop. Last habit in my morning routine is to eat an energizing breakfast. There were many years where I didn't really eat breakfast at all. And there were years where I drank a protein shake every morning. But my current obsession with breakfast is a bowl of yogurt topped with granola and a glass of green juice. Delicious. Now, while those are the three habits that are part of my morning routine, I still rely on some of those original savers back from the Miracle Morning. Throughout the day, I do mindful breathing. 
I'll take a minute or so and just nice deep breaths, kind of reset myself. I'm also big into visualization. And at the start of the year, I like to have a new vision board for the things that I wanna work on for that year and sometimes even beyond. When I look back on some of my previous vision boards, I am amazed at how many, usually all of the things that get accomplished, not necessarily within that year, but usually pretty soon after. I have an old video floating around somewhere that talks about how to create a vision board. I'll try to link that if I can find it. And gives me an idea for another video that I can make. So the last saver habit from Miracle Morning that I haven't mentioned as part of my current daily life is reading, but I am still an avid reader. I have, however, embraced audiobooks and podcasts, so I do a lot of listening as well as some reading, just not quite as much actual reading with the eyeballs that I used to do. So as an artist and maker, I find that it's very important that I don't let all of life's other little things take away from my time to work on my creativity. And because that time is so precious and sometimes rare, I want to make sure that I have a morning routine in place that will allow me to be able to focus on being creative and at the very least be productive in the things that need to get done, even if they aren't creative. So what are your morning routines? What have you found is really a great boost to being able to get through your day, be focused, be energized, and make the most of the creative time that you have. Let me know in the comments below. Until tomorrow, see ya!